G'day, it's Robbie Rick again. Well, here she is, all finished. The little wobbler steam engine, and uh, it's similar to what you saw last time when I had it running, as far as the plumbing's concerned. I made up a new twin wick burner for it. Once again, I have the home cast aluminium, and I've got the whole unit mounted on a piece of jarra with a cedar top on it and I've done it that way so that I can cut out the the cedar top and lower the and lower the um, the metho pot so I'll come around from the side here and show you the metho pot and here it is and it sits in the cut out and it uh, it just slides in or out as you want so it's a twin Twin burner, little brass spouts on it, and you know, as I said, home cast aluminium. Once again, it's a great finish. It's got an O ring seal. And now, I suppose, um, well, it's almost time to fire it up. I've painted the flywheel because that's a steel flywheel, and uh, I've used the same green spray pack paint as I used on the supports and the mounts. The wood I didn't use uh, urethane um, clear on it you know like um, high gloss urethane finish as I have on my sterling engines and the reason being I found it that the hard way that urethane doesn't like hot water it marks it so I've done what Alan has done in uh, UK with Retro Steam Tech with his model engines and I've oiled the, oiled the wood rather than um, glossed it over, you know, with varnish. So that should be uh, water resistant. I just used some old uh, armor all that I had, you know, that stuff you use in cars. You can use that on wood. I've used that on wood before for chisel handles. And it, it soaks in and it preserves the wood and does a good job. So hopefully it will stand up well to some, uh, some moisture because there'll be a certain amount of leakage, you know, you always get that with this type of motor. So now I suppose it's a matter of put some water in it, fill up the metho pot, and get it going. Now the metho pot uh, is good for about 10 minutes, and the boiler, half full, was also good for about 10 minutes. So, yeah, it all worked out well. I was a bit worried the boiler was too small. A few people said, oh, the boiler's too small, and you need to insulate the pipes and do all sorts of rigmarole which I thought, well, none of Alan's motors, engines are like that, and they do the job, so this should do the job, and it does. Having the twin wick burner, it, uh, you can see how it, how it goes, and uh, yeah, that should be enough to fire it up and run it for a good five, ten minutes, so that's all it needs to do. So I'll gas her up and get her ready to go. That's about halfway, that'll do. And I'll add a bit of this stuff. This is um, air tool oil. I've used it before. It works well. It uh, is hygroscopic. Just add a few drops of that in there. That will lubricate the piston and uh, keep everything healthy. Now we're ready to go. So those, those flames are pretty much perfect position, perfect height. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what you want. All right, let's give it a go. She's off and racing. She was. 
Give it a bit more steam. Yeah, all good. Once it, I think it needs to purge a bit of the water out of the system. flame pattern is pretty good and uh, there's just enough heat there to do the job. It's running really well. Enough, you know. Runs pretty smooth, doesn't it? Not bad. I don't think you could do much better than that, really. Mm. Once that was pushing my luck a bit. The valve the control valve is a bit sudden, but yeah, it's a good spot there. You can see she's holding pressure, building up pressure quite nicely now. Looking, you know, a little bit of leakage on the blow-off valve. But it, uh, it runs a treat. I'll turn it around and have a look at the other side. I did, did think about putting a little dynamo down here and running that off of this, but I don't think it's got enough power. To do that, I think you'd need something bigger than this. and uh, Or run it on compressed air where you can bump the pressure up, you know. I don't think it's running at very high pressure, probably four, you know, four or five pound at the most. You can see how accurately the uh, machining has been done, how well it runs, just using a little cheap Chinese lathe, that's all I did. I mean, some people like to bag the cheap Chinese lathes, you know, not accurate and, oh, they're no good, blah, blah, blah. Well, there you go, there's the proof, you can do it. You know, maybe they're not very good operators, but certainly you don't need any, anything big to do a job like this. And yeah, you get good results. It looks like the armor is not standing up to the steam too well. Um, I have to give it another coat, but you can see it's got a bit high over here where I wiped it off. So I'll give it another coat and see what happens, but I think she might be not quite up to the task. I might have to use something else.
Well, there you have it, guys. Mission complete. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really nice. As good as I could hope for. And it looks, yeah, I think it looks quite good. So, okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Cheers.